my name, bitch. <laughs> this is boobs. boobs. I drum, I hit things. Hit as fast things. as I can. It's not very fast, but I try. Jake, Jake, Jake. is a... He has amazing hair. Yeah. It's kind of, that's, it's kind of his, that's his forte, pretty much. Yeah. It's, it's good. I got keys and hit buttons and make lots of noise and... Steve provides glorious four-part vocal harmonies. Yeah. By myself. By yourself. And my name's Steve. Um, and I'm, yeah, I meant to say my name. I'm, I'm Dom and I'm a low-end operator. Alright. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, you are. <laughs> How would you describe your sound to someone who had never had the pleasure of hearing? That pretty much sums it up. Sums it up. Yeah, you know well. when you get a pimple in your ear <laughs> and you're like, I right inside it and you like press it right on the right angle and it really fucking stings. Some of it's like that and you then the moment when you ear. pop it and it goes and you can come out and feel it reverberating through your skull, that's the, that's the good bits. <laughs> We've gone, we've gone from like a four piece to like a six piece. piece band with two guitars and all sorts of shit. A trumpet. And then, and yeah, a trumpet. Yeah. And that trumpet. grew, and then that got too big and it split then, in half. Yeah, kind and of, then kind of fractured. What the other half form? Uh, ham scraps. Ham scraps. <laughs> awesome. Yeah. And then, and then, and then, yeah. And then the, it was just me, Dom, and Steve for a while. It was just the digital beats, but then that got boring, and we we're like, we need a drummer. And then, then that was the born nidge of the new ninja. Yeah. Ninja, ninja was born in the bomb shelter at the back of Jake's house. Mm. And we just spent numerous times with it just playing with various pieces of audio equipment lying around the place. I said all manner of noises we could do and we just always enjoyed making like random yeah. soundscapes, like for us, this is always a lot of fun. Robot rock. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god. some airplay on radio so it can't be that bad I guess. Uh, yeah. <laughs> Local. It's good to hear noisy shit when you're driving in the middle of the day, that's for sure. Two and a half weeks, got about, I think it's like six shows in the Osaka region, Kansai region, and then four in Tokyo, and then a couple of days off in between, but we're going to be travelling by bus between Osaka and Tokyo with a psychedelic laptop group called, um, well, called Psychedelic Dessert, <laughs> to Japanese hippies, yeah, he's freaking awesome. I think everyone dreams of getting to travel the world to do something they love to do. Yeah, I, I think that's kind of like a basic requirement of just being human. <laughs> I don't know, and we always wanted, I, I mean, I, no. no I don't it's know. on the list of goals is to play our own music in a different country and technically yeah. tour internationally. It's not quite in the way most people do it, it's a sort of independent thing, but mm. um, a lot of, we're inspired heavily by Japanese art culture, definitely music. Lots of bands from Japan have influenced our sound, and we had a lot of friends up there and an opportunity to tour, so we decided to do it. You can write a good enough paper, you can get the government to give you $12,000 to cook human blood naked on stage. 
I'm not shooting you. That's so no, there are there are, yeah. There's plenty of funding out there. You just gotta want to work for just it. Just gotta write you it you up gotta, properly. Yeah, you, you you gotta get it. And besides that, we can always just sell shoes. Yeah. Yeah. yeah.